Welcome back to this week, a deadly and destructive week in Tennessee as tornadoes as strong as an EF3 tore a path of death and destruction through Middle Tennessee. Governor Bill Lee and other state leaders visited the heart of the damage area. As you know, we had terrific storms last night, lots of damage, um, heartache from one side of the state to the other. We're right here in Murray County, the hardest hit spot as far as the tornado damage goes, uh, significant flooding all across the state. Uh, we're estimating about 100 houses were impacted in some way, shape or form, and perhaps up to 40 of those suffered some significant damage, major or destroyed damage. So uh, we'll be working with the community to do a more formal damage assessment. We, we passed by a local church that's feeding free, that has free food for all of the volunteers, for all of the workers, for all of the folks that are out there, first responders. This community stepping up like Tennesseans always do. Uh, they're taking care of their neighbors and the professionals that are supposed to step in are stepping in when they need to. So it's heartbreaking uh, and hopeful at the same time. And the work is just beginning. There's a lot of work ahead. We all know that, but what we see so far, uh, we're really encouraged. But, you know, we stopped by and visited with families. Um, one family that huddled in the closet and lost most of their house. Uh, as you walk through, you saw that they picked the only closet that was untouched. Uh, it, it was made me mindful of the warnings that we often see on TV when we're watching the news. And so they say, get to the inside, no windows, lowest level. That's what this family did and they survived. And I, I would guess they would not have survived had they not done that. Uh, they're there. It's, it's heartbreaking, but really hopeful at the same time. Recovery is the long, hard part of this. So uh, folks will need to be working with their insurance companies. And that's part of going around today. Folks are telling the governor about, you know, their insurance adjusters had already been out to talk to them. So uh, if folks have problems with their insurance companies, the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance has a hotline that will help adjudicate those things if someone uh, feels like they're having problems. Be wary of vendors that are just showing up. So make sure that your, your vendors are licensed, bonded, insured. Make sure they're reputable. Um, and then if you have any doubts, make sure you reach out to either TEMA or the Murray County Office of Emergency Management and Homeland Security. Like Those are the best ways. Like We'll help adjudicate these things for you. So uh, don't ever feel pressured if you're out there as a survivor. Uh, someone here or at the state, someone in your community can help make sure that uh, your dollars are being safeguarded, that your wellness is being safeguarded. It's heartbreaking. It, you realize that you don't know what it feels like to be that family, but you know that it must be awful. You know that it must be painful. You know that it must be scary. You know that it must feel a little bit hopeless. And uh, that is a, that's a tough thing to, to watch. To observe another family uh, in a moment of crisis like that, it's hard to watch. But it, it is hopeful to be able to walk up and see their interaction with their neighbors and their positive words about how they will make it. Uh, we heard that several times today. Look, we're going to make it. We're glad we're still alive. Some people lost their lives. Uh, there's a lot of uh, optimism in the, in the faces of those who you would expect to be hopeless. And, and that, that, that brings a, a feel to all of us. Stay with us. This week continues in a moment.